Okie dokie. My cat toy broke. Uh, That's so fucking tragic. The girls' room. <laughs> what? <laughs> just thinking about eggs. Thinking about eggs? <laughs> Wasn't there one of them that just had a thing with eggs? Uh, not in that skit. I don't remember. It's been so yeah, long. Yeah, there, there was an Amanda Show character that just said, I like eggs. And I, I believe nothing else. Okay, I don't actually need to be here. So. Uh, however, there is a chance a small number of people weren't affected by the project if they survived. Was that another newspaper clipping? Yes, but it was ripped. That's why I was reading what it said before I left really quickly, because... I didn't want to deal with the enemies that were spawning. Oh, I just think... Observation room. I just think the notion that there would be a newspaper publication after the catastrophe is fascinating. Oh, hey! Oh, there's a lot. Oh, there's a oh, lot in this room. Oh, jeez. Uh, I don't want to die. I don't... Oh, I think it's just oh. I don't want to die. I just see that. A lot. I mean, they were thinking it really hard. We're really in it now, Soto. Okay. I love that they just phase out of existence. <laughs> That's not what it says. Really? Yeah. It, it just, just says, I don't want to die? Yeah, it just says, I don't want to die. She needs happy night. Okay. Hey, translators, what the heck? I mean, I'm just wondering if there's another implication there, then. Uh, people can add their own spin on things if they want. I was just wondering why. I guess. Where that's... they got that from. I don't know where we are. That's still weird, though. Don't kill me? Oh, that's fun. What the heck is that thing on the ceiling? I don't know. Very weird fixture. I really don't like these things. Yeah, they I suck. like them conceptually, but fighting them is not fun. Again, I would love to see an art book. Emergency kit? For emergencies. Uh, yeah, but I don't want to die. Don't kill me. That one says, don't kill me. Uh, Koros and I do. It, it can be both, but... The yeah. implication is you're saying to someone, don't kill me. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, is this a Morgrim? No. Uh, is it? No, 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 I think this is a sample room, maybe? Hold on. Why don't I look? Lab, yeah, okay. They look a little bit too short to store bodies, I guess. They need to be wider and taller. Because believe it or not, people come in all shapes and sizes. They do. This room is fun, though. Yeah, I, I love like, it. I like this room. Alright, let's go... To the danger zone! <laughs> to the danger zone! I don't know any of the other lyrics to that song. Wow, this I, is ooh. this is the best lit room we've been in all game. I like that still this inconspicuous Tired. like bonfire implied to have been made by a person <laughs> still in this immaculate room. It's gotta be, right? Withered plant, okay. Where did you come from? Where are you going? Oh! I'm sure you come from someplace I don't know. Going someplace I can't follow. I... Don't think I have that much longer to live. In my university laboratory, I dedicated myself to the study of botanical genetics. While in the midst of my studies, I fell ill and suffered a high fever that attacked my nervous system. The culprit was a bacterium, attached to a mushroom I used in the lab. When the bacterium enters the body, it causes a high fever that can lead to long-term damage. By the time I realized the dangers of the bacterium, it was already too late. I was already infected. My illness did not take my life. Though there were after effects, 
they were light, and thankfully, I survived. Although I am now physically healthy, I am left with deep emotional scars. I have realized an unforgivable sin I committed in the past. There was a girl from my childhood who I used to talk about dreams with. My dream was to become a botanist and engineer a flower with a color like the world had never seen before. She aspired to become a prima ballerina and grace the stage before millions. But she came down with a terrible fever that attacked her nervous system. Looking back on it now, the cause behind it was the bacterium and the moonlight mushrooms I had on me at the time. I cared for her deeply. I wanted her dream to come true. But while I immersed myself in my botanical studies to make her stage of flowers a reality, I lost track of what was important. Without her, my dream had no point. By the time I realized it, it was too late. My naive and self-centered actions took away not only her dreams, but also took her away from me. Tormented by guilt and despair, I tried to kill the pain with alcohol. Before I knew it, I was failing my lab courses. I couldn't show my face at home, being stripped of all else. I only had my research left to live for. I killed off my emotions and completely devoted myself to my studies. All I leave behind is this letter and a potted plant. It was the fruit of my many years of research. If you have a moment, would you please look at it? If you happen to be reading this in the light of day, it probably looks like a snow-white flower. If it's night, the petals are probably glowing blue and shedding light around them like a lantern would. But if it's crimson dusk, I imagine it's letting off a warm light like that of a flickering candle. What color flower is it now? Okay, uh, first, I killed off my emotions is a spectacular line. I adore that. Uh, two, I did not think we would ever get to hear the other side of that story. I didn't remember that either. That's... Just like I thought. Man. That's even more tragic, though. I didn't- I didn't expect the mushrooms to be a factor in the illness. Jeez. I did- I did the mo- like, when he started talking about it and he was like, oh, I got sick, I was like, wait a second. <laughs> yeah, I didn't put two and two together until it was stated explicitly, but wow. Oh, I love this game so much. Very fascinating <laughs> of them to give us the other perspective way earlier and then slap that on later, huh? Well, that's what I mean by, like, like- I shall see you again! I guess the main plot of this game is a little interesting, but, like, Ultimately, like, it's that stuff that I'm like, oh, that's good. Yeah. Human relations are fascinating. I think is what it boils down to, and if you can write that realistically and emotionally. <laughs> no, now that you say that, I'm like, are they trying to imply, like, oh, if we could all understand each other, these miscommunications wouldn't have happened. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I was thinking about that earlier. The, like, Shin said something along the lines of, like, words being terrible, or disliking words, and yet, like, so much of the emotional strength of this game are the words written in those memos. Complete. That's not a good sentence. We are sentence. running out of time! Hurry! Right. First, some advice. <laughs> what is it? The next room has a huge vat full of toxic substances. Yeah? It's really dangerous. Don't waste any time. Your health will deteriorate the longer you stay in there. Run like there's a ghost on your tail. <sighs> Got it. She says this. Plug your nose, Soto. I want to look around, so... Oh, jeez. Okay, okay. This is a Final Fantasy VII room. 
it kind of is a Final Fantasy system, but also they trap me in a corner, so... Oh, your health is ticking down. Yes, it is. But I can't get out. Yeah, well now you can. Oh boy. It's Bro, it's a raven here. It's party. Yeah, you might want to put like a warning for this area too. Um, yeah, I'll uh, I gotta include like alcoholism for this part and one of the other parts that we recorded, so. Oh, psychedelic. Oh my god. Yeah, of course. At least you got ration bars. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting toxic health, but just stuff food in your mouth, it'll be fine. Remember kids, you can run through a toxic environment as long as you bring enough granola bars with you. And uh, you know, maybe like a gas mask or something, a hazmat suit perhaps. But the granola bars are the most important. I don't have time. This is just an enemy gauntlet. Oh, cheese. Okay. Oh, oh no. Oh, there's an item there. I think you can run for it. I don't know. It's no. too late now. Hoping someone will drop food. Uh, that would be ideal. Okay. Oh. If the ID cannot be confirmed, you will be removed. Might want to pop that. If the ID cannot be confirmed, you will be removed. This room is awful and I hate it. Yeah, it's it's pretty sensory overloading. I think you can just go. The door's right there. I just want to see if there's anything else in the corner. No, oh, okay, it's just that one drink. You were brave. <laughs> okay. The horror room Literally, is Literally, you are just in an enemy gauntlet. The horror room was over. This is the good news. But what's coming next? Uh, saying like the lights and everything. <laughs> I'm saying there might be another room exactly like that well, through that door. Well, right now it's fine. It's if Chicken Man comes in, I swear <laughs> to God. <laughs> Chicken Man, how did you get through that toxic gas? Chicken Man is not Chicken human. Chicken Man's a robot. Chicken Man is not human. We've already talked about this. Chicken Man does not need to breathe oxygen. God, I wish that were me. Yeah, me too. From a young age, I've always Oops. wished that I didn't need to breathe. Um, you know what? My tuna heals the same amount for less space, so actually. Mm, strat. What? Doing math? Yeah. Strat. The girls' room. <laughs> I want to go watch the Amanda show. Mm. It's been ages. I want to watch the Amanda show just for Tony pajamas. Pajamas! <laughs> This next room is guarded by motion sensors. Motion sensors? Oh no. Oh, this that is the room I'm stuck when on. One of them is tracking you. You can't move a muscle. Is this what, what you've I been do? talking about all game? Mm -hmm. You'll have a whole mess of trouble to deal with. Then I won't move. How hard can that be? <laughs> Everyone with shaky hands I'm looking ready. at the camera like they're on the Don't office. Even... Really? Really? I'll do my best. No blinking, huh? Is this gonna be possible with our janky issue? Find out. Okay, so if I'm in the cone. Okay, I was thinking this would be like a red light, green light type deal, but. Um, I do wanna look around for items though, too, so. Can they. Track Psy? You uh, think? Probably not. This is a server room, huh? It looks like it. Why does it look really familiar to me? I don't know. Oh, there's something over there. Yeah, I mean, it would just be a matter of patience. 
just run and then stop. I just wanna... Oh, uh, that's not... I thought I was just gonna kill you. So that's not terrible. I'm really quickly gonna go see if I can see if I can get anything else in this room. I, yeah, I mean, if you already triggered it, what's the detriment of running around and grabbing all the goodies? I think it may restart you is the thing, so I was stuck here and I don't think I would be that stuck if that was just the only bad thing that happened. I'm assuming you have to get through the room without activating it at all, but... See how difficult that ends up being. Uh, is that the only item? Oh hey, hmm? Windows Antivirus didn't find any new threats since last scan. Good job, Windows Antivirus. Thanks, Windows Antivirus. Oh, these textures. Yeah, they're not great. Seriously, this room like looks like something from something. I can't put my finger on it. I don't like that they sound like crow. You didn't notice that? No, I did, but that one was just really loud. Okay, yeah, same voice actor. Well, For yeah. obvious reasons. It makes sense, it just makes me sad. Yeah, me okay, too. I think that was the only item. Can you go through the exit? No, it's locked. That really? much I know, yes. Like when these are activated? Well, yeah, this is a security measure, so I'm assuming the doors would lock. Yeah. Uh. Sorry, everyone. Really quick. I don't remember if there is a bon- There has to be a bonfire after it, but... The rule of threes would dictate that there's at least one more room. Assistance mug. Oh, boy. Well, well. Things have definitely taken a turn for the weird. This is something else. I mean, we're guilty of murdering mankind. It happens to everyone, don't worry. Yeah, it happens, to the, it happens to the best of us. Don't beat yourself up about it. Don't you have anything to say? Please. I thought we didn't need words. <laughs> That's true, but... Come on. I like the sound of your voice. Are you looking to be written up? Sheesh, can't you take a joke? How? How can you remain so calm about this? You're the one acting unfazed. Yes, but you know my true feelings. I'm scared. I'm scared of dying. That's normal. But you're not alarmed in the least. You... You knew this would happen. You're reading too much into this. I'm just a scientist who hates to work. But... You know what I could use? A nice cup of coffee. You want coffee at a time like this? You know that caffeine can keep you from sleeping. You can't escape it forever. Yeah, so can't you do me this one favor? There's nothing else I'd rather have as my last drink. Fine, then. I don't take milk with it, and for sugar... Two spoonfuls. I know how you like it, doctor. Good. Thank you. Excuse me, but... Yeah? Um... Can I join you? Of course. I'm going to die here. So, <clears throat> you die if you go to sleep. Seems to be the implication. I'm not sure what it is about what they did to people's brains that caused that, but... Ah, <clears throat> okay. But I mean, so like, that explains why the tower was significant then. Mm hmm. Okay. Everything's come together. <clears throat> Any other questions? Nope, I'm good. Okay. Oh, okay. wait, I do, I do have one question. Yes. Did you know that you're really cute? <sighs> okay. The bane of my existence. Yeah. Yeah. Are you getting flashbacks? <gasps> yes. Oh my god. What are you doing, So? He's shuffling. I know, but I'm not, like... <sighs> uh, lower completely. Like, set it on your leg. 
Having the same problem? Probably. <gasps> cool. <laughs> Again, we're gonna be here for a bit. I'm very bad at this. It's okay, I'll think of a fun story to tell. Oh, you'll think of a fun story to tell? Yeah. Instead of just, like, cutting. Yeah. I'll, I'll think of a fun story to tell. Yep. I can't think of a fun story to tell. That was very fast. You wanna talk about the weather? No. Okay. <laughs> you wanna talk about video games? You wanna talk about that dead bug? Which dead bug? The dead bug that's currently in the window. Oh, they didn't even let me pick up the item. That's not fair. Um... Nah. Okay. <laughs> you wanna talk about boys? Definitely no. You wanna talk about which boys we would kiss? Why are you doing this? You just gotta stop. I didn't- I couldn't see. I thought I was high enough. I thought you were safe too, but I had a bad <laughs> gut feeling like my stomach dropped the second I saw it in motion. Ugh. Life one. is like a hurricane here in Duckburg. <gasps> I didn't even move that time. Oh boy. I told you that I hate this room. It's okay. I, I, I spent, spent so many hours warning you that I hate this room. I mean, I didn't know it was coming. You didn't really say room, you just said there's a part that's motion sensitive at the end of the game. Could have been anything. It could have been like playing a piano, for example, or. I like that you picked that. Ex yeah. Cat. Poor cat. Poor cat. Poor cat. <clears throat> there's a part in the Fatal Frame 4 boss fight where you need to stop what you're doing and play a piano. And it's motion sensitive! You have Yay. to play it with the Wiimote. Yay! You have to press the keys with the Wiimote. Honestly, if your musical instrument in your video mm -hmm. game isn't programmed like the ocarina and ocar- <laughs> Were you just moving the camera that time? I don't know, it's so sensitive, I- The Legend of Zelda does instruments right. You press a button or you tilt in a direction and press a button. You can't fuck that up. Well, you can fuck it up, but if you do fuck up, it's your own fault. What the hell is that noise? Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm sure I'm tired of it, though. <laughs> Bro, this sucks. Mm -hmm. Why'd they think this is a good idea? Are you getting sweaty like I'm playing a platformer? No, I'm not sweaty. There's nowhere to fall, so... <clears throat> Like, I'm tense, I'm not. I, I can't watch Bum play Mario. You really can't. It's it's bad for my blood pressure. Not because I get angry, because I get very stressed. I'm stopping here. Oh, the item stayed. It's interesting. Please stop shuffling, please stop shuffling. Heck is the oh there it is. That's why I was waiting. It takes a real long time that one. Why the heck did the cycle just skip? I don't Oh, oh, that's the big room. Oh, that's... You got, oh. you got blood coming oh. out of your vents, buddy. You might want to call someone about that. Oh, okay. That's usually a bad sign. So do you think I need the cat toy stuff? <laughs> you might... Like I said, this boss fight might be akin to the final boss fight of Twilight Princess in which you can distract Ganondorf with your fishing rod. Is the girl you're looking for... Finally. 
Wait. Wait, we have one weapon. Yeah? Just... Just be careful. You hear me? I will. And... Thanks, I. Okay. Okay.